All right, so today, guys, as I said, I might be reviewing tech on my channel since Doctor Who and Stranger Things hasn't really had any updates recently, which then again, there was that new Doctor Who Revolution of the Daleks episode, which was really nice, so I should review that. But right now, what I'm reviewing is this. Uh, I'm not sure what year it came out. All I know is that it's a rare and vintage boombox. It is a Emerson CR. No, CTR, I was going to say CRT, but CTR 925 cassette radio boombox. I, I really like this. I picked this up for $10 at a local thrift store. It's a really nice model. I mean, I don't, I mean I've mean, i looked all over the internet to find what year this wonderful thing came out, but I mean, the closest I've gotten is a service publication that says, Number 83 through 83. I mean, that probably, I mean, I thought that meant it was from 1983, but that probably means that was their service publication, you know? That's the number. So, whatever year the 83rd installment of the Emerson publications came out, I, I don't know. But let's open it up and show you guys. So, if I just press this little button, it's a little stiff, but the little mechanism that opens it is right here. You see, it's got your two tape heads there, the take up wheel, the play wheel. I can't see. It's probably in there somewhere, but there's the capstan motors and the pinch rollers are probably somewhere in there. I just can't see them. The erase heads up there as well. Hold on, if I press play, maybe we'll. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can see it working there. I should really turn on like some bright light or something, but I don't have a flashlight, which. I don't have a flashlight, <clears throat> but I have this little TARDIS that has a light on the top, so that's close enough. I mean, it's a light, and dang you. Uh, well, now if I could just somehow flip the switch on this. Ah, yeah, this probably does no good. Well, actually, it kind of does. So you see there, there's the take-up reels and all. <laughs> now, when I turn on the FM stadio, stadio, when I turn on the FM radio, this little light right here will come on. Now, I haven't really found out much about this boombox online, but I have found a few models, or at least a few images, that are close to this. One of them was a 922 model, but I think the only difference is, was of course, the number here, and the volume dials were chrome, like a silver chrome instead of this black, which these are. I think those really the only differences. So here we got AM, FM, uh, and tape. Then we've also got the stereo mode, mono mode. And someone was like, you better not be duped. This could be a modern machine that's meant to look vintage. But then I told them about the, uh, instead of having one volume dial, we got two volume dials for left speaker, right speaker. So it could be <clears throat> a truly vintage machine. And then you got these wonderful buttons here. Eject, stop, play, fast forward, rewind, and record. And then we got the uh, little uh, antenna here, or as they say in England, aerial. Which it's a pretty big antenna, but not as big as the ones on those walkie-talkies over there, which I'll review later. I mean, this thing runs on, I'm not sure how many, but it runs on a couple of C-cell batteries. Well, C-cell, like those big, chunky C batteries. And if you want to take it around with you, you just carry it with this little handle. And it runs off your standard little power cord here, so if you want to take it with you, you just simply unplug this here, and boom! Well, I mean, you gotta have the batteries back here. And this was made in Korea, which I have my Sears tape recorder, which was also made in Korea. <laughs> uh, yeah, so model number CRT925. So yeah, the batteries would go right down there which there is no model number on it, which is something. But yeah, and then over here we got a few little things. Got a mic inputs, a giant headphone input, which none of my headphones fit into because they're all 3.5. And then we've also got, what does this say? Uh, M-O-N-I-L, so on or off. I'm not sure what that means, but... Yeah, the mono, I guess. And the headphone jack is way bigger than any of the ones I've got, so... Hmm. We've also got an aux cord for left and right as well, so... I'm sorry that you can't really see things well, but... I mean, yeah, this is it. The, uh, Immersion 925 CRT 
boombox. And hopefully this Wednesday, in the mail, I'll be getting a 1988 Sony FMAM Walkman. It says it's fully working, so I trust the seller on eBay. And of course, I've always got to set it to my favorite uh, radio station, 97.1, The River, Atlanta's Classic Hits. <laughs> so, uh, I'm running out of time, so peace out, guys. Uh, remember, God loves you, Whovians rule, you know, and keep tech like this alive. Peace out.